Hi, today we're going to take down a boss and review it at Hasbro's Beyblade Burst D07TA09 Beach Trim Off B2 Attack Type. So, uh, yeah. So, as you know, lately what they've been doing with the American Hasbro ones is giving them some stupid names. I mean, the names are just stupid. Beatramoff? This one's actually supposed to be Beast Behemoth. Or Beast Beach. Beast Moth? Let me check this out. Behemoth. Beast Behemoth. I think the name is supposed to be. And here we get Beatramoff. Like what? It gets its jollies beating off the other bays? Like, huh, I just beat it off all day. Beat your off. Yeah, it's a stupid name. But of course, American Hasbro versus the nice, the great, the all powerful, the super duper, the car towing where they have the best names and the bays are a lot heavier, which uh, bay top. You want the heavier bay. A heavier the bay, the better your bay is going to be. America, they want on the lightweight side. Which is kind of funny because, you know, if you think about it, Americans are light, while Japanese are, I mean, Americans are heavier weight-wise, while Japanese are a lot lighter. But, you know, go fitter. They eat a lot more healthier stuff. Here in America, we're just stuffing ourselves with big mass, quarter pounder, double cheeseburgers. Yeah, I'll have the large fries and an apple pie and a furry and, you know, a couple sliders. Yeah, give me a crepe case, onion wings, you know, all that stuff. Which is, like I said, it's fine. Here in America, we don't eat that healthy. We stuff ourselves with junk food. We weigh more, but the American tops weigh less. In Japan, they weigh a lot less because they're a lot more healthier. Which I have to agree, they're smart. I mean, let it. Japan, the Japanese... They are super duper smart. They fit, have the best technology, the best products. Their prices are super cheap. Best food. You know, everything about Japan is great. But their tops are a lot heavier than American ones. So, just wondering. Hasbro, which is Takari told me which one's better. If you got the money and the time, Takari told me. If you don't, you just want to walk in the store and walk out the store with the, you know, Baby boy top in your hand? Well, not while like steal it, but you know, while and pay for it, that kind of thing. Then, uh, has well. So, yeah, let's get this one open up and check it out. On the bat, the attack is free. Burst is for defense, is one. Weight is two for sit. Sit for the weight. Four for stamina. I mean, four for agility and three for stamina. I mean, two for stamina. What the F? I mean, this thing. Yikes. Just. Complete. See? That's Hasbro for you. So this is their starter set. So you get the instructions on how to put together a bay top, which you should already know how to do that. They're super duper easy to put together. Your launcher and whip cord, which is complete garbage. Because these burst, Hasbro burst launchers, they're garbage. I mean, yeah, garbage. They're super duper tiny. You can't hold on to them. They don't have that much power to them. I mean, if you're going to buy a launcher for five bucks, buy this one. This one got that nice grip that you can actually grip it and whip it. 
Well, this one, it's just up into four while. Point while, I guess you could kind of use it like a little fidget spinner. Because that's all that one's good for. This is the one that you want right here. So, uh, yeah. From, uh, so. Here's the set evolution of Beach Moth, or Beast Beach Moth, or Behemoth, H8. So, yeah, I can't tell this is the set to evolution form because the screws are on the top. If the screws were on the back, it would be the first form. So, obviously, this is the seventh. Another way, it has the letter B right there in the center. So, if they have the little letters in the center of their name, in the center of the top, that's another dead giveaway or tip that, you know, it's the set to evolution one. It's not the first one. So, first one, screws on the bottom, right in the middle. Second one, screws on the top, and they have the letter in the center. So yeah. So we kind of see like this little mouth that's open up, and then we see like these little wings all around here, which looks pretty good. On the back there, there's the QR code. Then we have this for Heavy, I think it is. The H. On the force disc for heavy, and it's a two star. And then we had this driver, which has a really weird symbol on there. The symbol on the top of the bay, right? Not bay, on the driver, matches this driver. So, how this driver has this little rotating gimmick on here that kind of wibbles and wobbles around. Same thing right there. Which is pretty awesome. So, from... Let's put it off to the side and bring in the laptop. So, from the WBBA, or the World Bayboy Association Wiki. In their lineup, it is B63 Booster. Beast, Beach from off, HH from Takori Tomi. So, yeah. As you can see, it's supposed to be kind of like this grayish, pearl white, kind of a cross between a gray and a pearl white, with yellow eyes and like a red and brown yellow all for the wings and stuff. And unfortunately, it doesn't have any letter in the middle. While the American Hasbro one is green with translucent with like greenish blue on the wings. So we don't get red, we don't get yellow, we don't get black on the wings. We do get a letter in the middle. And we have green eyes, which might as well not be existent. Because, I mean, if they gave them blue eyes or purple eyes or red eyes, it'll look better, but... Yeah, we don't. So it's heavy hold. So heavy is the force disc, and hold is the driver. So it went for nine hundred yen. So. The exchange rate would probably be about 9 to 10 bucks US, which is about what you're paying for already. Now remember, this is supposed to be a booster, which means in Japan you don't get a launcher. All you get is just a dual layer, forged disc, and driver. Well, let's go over to here. The, uh, Hasbro one. And Hasbro, where was it? Ah, here it is. Hasbro has it listed under C2333 Beach Remoff B2 Heavy Hold.
which is you know pretty much the same thing except this one has a little bit more on the uh, forged disc for heavy it's a little more information there than what the uh, the Kari Tommy one had I believe no no they still have the same thing so yeah so let's move that out of the way here Let's put together at the top. We're in our base stadium here. Let's see how it works. Three, two, one, lay wet. You can really hear how the driver grabs a hold of that stadium at first. Sorry for yelling a little bit, but you heard it. It was really loud, and you heard that the uh, hold on the driver really hold to the stadium. As for the heavy on the forge, it just doesn't seem like there's that much weight to it. And it looks like it dies out pretty fast. I mean, compared to other attack types like Veltrias, Victory Veltrias, and the other ones. Oh my god. This one's already dead. <laughs> yeah. So let's try to get into a battle with a uh, stamina type. Rock the War. Or, um. The closest we're probably going to get here in America to God version, Rock the War. I know this ain't God version. It kind of looks like God version. I mean, if you compare the Sutton. Evolution form to the God form, they look exactly similar almost, but they are different. So, just wanted to point that out. This probably would be considered the American God version, unless Hasbro does release a God version in their Evolution lineup. But, as far as we know, it this one is current what a lot of us bait waiters here in America is calling God version. So if we do get God version, then this one will be second version, then we'll have our own God version, but Japan they have first version, second version, and then God version. So yeah. And this just wants to flop around. Floppy top. Three, two, one, let it rip. Three, two, one, let I hate when this thing gets stuck. I don't know what's going on with this. It's just not doing its job. Of course, it is American. Not to call it Tommy. So, yep, has bro, which they really bro here in America, versus to call it Tommy, which is like awesome. So, hopefully, we could try to get a bay better going here without this thing flopping around. There we go. Finally. Whoa, you see how aggressive this top is? It moved the base stadium. And then it died out. Because it's super duper lame. And now both of them are using kind of the same driver gimmick. This one has the revolver on it. That revolves and this one has the hold on it. Now this one it wobbles around a little bit but not that much. This one is tilting, it's turning, it's wibble, it's wobble. So let's see if we can try to get it to launch again and just for time wise I'm going to use the string launcher. Even though I don't like string launchers so. Yay. 
Hopefully we can get a burst. Although I don't think so. And came close to tie, but beat them off one. So yeah. Give me a second here, folks. So yeah, that has been the unboxing review of Hasbro's Beach Room Off DL7 TA09 attack type. Or if you want to go, it's the Japanese one, their booster, Beast. Beach Moth, Beach Moth, Heavy Hold. So American, it's Beach Moth, B2, Heavy Hold, or Beast, Beach Moth, Behemoth. So yeah. Remember to wait, subscribe, and like, comment. Alright, thanks, bye.